How can a single asteroid impact lay waste to an entire planet? A team at NASA's Ames Laboratory in California hunts for clues. Peter Schultz is the authority on asteroid impacts. Asteroids have changed the Earth. They've changed the life on the Earth. The Chicxulub loop impact was not that rare an event. So it's critically important to understand what happened then, just to be able to understand what might happen in the future. Peter uses a custom-built gun to simulate asteroid impacts. He will fire a small ball of aluminum at over 12,000 miles an hour directly into his model of the Earth to recreate an asteroid strike. We want to watch what happens, then we get to understand what may have happened 65 million years ago. Well, you're clear right now. OK, lock and load. High voltage is good. Gorgeous. There's this big giant plume that goes straight up. And this plume is heading straight out into outer space. This kind of impact shoots dust and vapor straight up, leaving a relatively small circular zone of debris. For vertical impact, a lot of the energy occurs locally, sending it up and out, and that disappears. Most of the ejecta land right in that region. But some dinosaurs lived thousands of miles away on the other side of the planet. How could this impact affect them? I don't think this is what happened to Chicxulub. So what did? Peter believes the impact site holds vital clues. Hidden beneath the Gulf of Mexico today lies the Chicxulub crater. Most small craters are circular, but the Chicxulub crater is giant, and its inner rim is shaped like an egg. Under its skin, there is a layer of lighter colored debris and shattered rock. This is fallout from the impact. It is far deeper on one side of the crater suggesting the asteroid struck the Earth in an unusual way. Peter believes this is evidence that the asteroid hit not head on, but at a shallow angle to the Earth. We're to see what happens when we come in a low angle. We're going to be coming out of here. Rolling. The vapor plume now isn't just simply going up and out. It's actually going down range. It's kind of like having a nuclear explosion moving along across the surface and expanding. The low angle impact produces a different kind of crater. It's egg shaped, just like the crater at Chicxulub. That's much more serious than a vertical impact. For life on Earth, it would have meant that there was a zone of death and destruction. 